Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Ah, yeah, interesting. Okay. Make a note of that. Get back to that later. Put it right there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Make a note of that. Right there. Hmm. Yeah, better make note of that as well. Put it right there. <laughs> okay. Just uh, placing notes here on uh, the web page so that uh, I can remind myself the next time I go back to it. And so when I do that, oh, wait a minute. Like, the, the notes, they didn't go with the web page. They're like, look, they're stuck on the screen. Like, oh, that sucks. That, that, total. Of course, that's not how you'd want to leave notes. It's just impractical. I mean, I like yellow stickies as much as the next person, but if you want to leave notes on web pages uh, that uh, you can see and possibly share with your friends, you can't rely on physical media anymore. No, you got to go virtual with web notes specifically. Webnotes.net. That's W E B N O T E S dot N E T. You log in. Now, granted, uh, they only have a uh, beta access right now so you, you kind of have to wait for a login but once it gets processed uh, you simply drag and drop uh, a bookmarklet into your browser's bookmarks bar and we've talked about bookmarklets in the past and then when you're on a web page uh, let's say uh, I'm here on, on this particular well let me go to someone's profile let's go to this guy's profile and we want to leave notes I simply press the annotate bookmarklet and I get this new toolbar that pops up right here in line. Again, I didn't really install anything other than the little bit of JavaScript. And now I can leave a sticky note right here on this virtual page. I click it, and now I can leave the note, blah, 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 blah. I can move it around. I can press the highlighter button, and that will highlight the selected text. I can even change the color. I can change where it's saved. So I can save it under a general folder, or I could save it, well, under a new folder if I wanted to, or I could decide to share the annotated page by email or by way of permalink. So that way I can go to any web page on the internet and leave notes on it, highlight it, and then pass it along using webnotes.net. If you rely on these stickies to help keep track of what's going on, uh, you, you really got to upgrade your life. Seriously. I mean, it's time to move out of your parents' basement and use services that are intended to make your life easier. And no, I'm not talking about your mom. She is not a service. You need to learn that sooner rather than later. Webnotes.net, as I said, they only have beta access right now. But sign up to be included. I've got like, what, 10 or so invites to give out. So if you just uh, at me on Twitter, at Chris Perillo, I would really like to join the Webnotes beta. Uh, I'll take uh, a, a 10 people out of uh, those who uh, you know qualify by at Chris Perillo I'd really like to join the web notes beta um, after we publish this video of course give people a running start for the, those who are watching this video be recorded live here at live.perillo.com assuming nobody here is living in their parents basement unless of course you are underage in which case I would ask you what the hell are you doing staying up this late because it is late it's late even for me. And I only live in my parents' attic. I moved up. <clears throat> my email address, chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of other fun or functional services that we might be able to share with the rest of the community. Feel free to drop me a line. Of course, you know you can join our community, geeks.perillo.com. It doesn't matter if you live in your parents' basement or you are your parents. That made sense, at least when I thought about it. You're more than welcome to join us in the chat room. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.